thyroid gland is the master gland of the body. The influence of thyroid hormone affects every cell throughout the entire body. So it's really important that this uh, gland maintains its normal function. And it, it doesn't. In fact, most commonly it becomes hypo or low thyroid. High thyroid, I'm not sure what it causes. I see it on occasion, but maybe the cause is environmental toxins, environmental poisons. That's the best conclusion I can come to. But damage to the thyroid, so that the thyroid gland does not produce enough hormone, in other words, hypothyroidism, is the result of an autoimmune disease. If you see your doctor, your doctor will tell you you have autoimmune thyroiditis. Thyroiditis, inflammation of the thyroid gland. It's also called Hashimoto's thyroiditis for the discoverer from Japan in the early 1900s. So you have autoimmune thyroiditis, which means the body is attacking itself. Well, why would the body attack the thyroid gland? The reason the body attacks the thyroid gland, I believe, and it's to be proven whether I'm right or not, is by a cross reaction that occurs in the bloodstream between foreign thyroids and your immune system and your own thyroid gland. What happens is when we consume foreign thyroids, what are foreign thyroids? Those are thyroids from cows and pigs, for example, and maybe sheep that are put in your food. We'll talk about what foods are put in in a minute. Those foreign thyroids, they're foreign. They're from a cow or a pig or a sheep. They go into your body. And in some cases they pass into the bloodstream. The body recognizes them as foreign, makes antibodies against these thyroid glands but they're not so specific that they only attack thyroid coming from cows and pigs. They also cross react with human thyroid glands and they end up attacking our own gland and destroying the glandular tissue. That's how I believe you get hypothyroidism. Unfortunately, once the thyroid gland is damaged, it's usually permanent. And you have to treat it by supplementation, but this is one of the most safe, sensible, cost-effective supplementations that I'm aware of. And that is you take uh, thyroid pills. You can take them as Synthroid, which is what I recommend, which is a synthetic thyroid. Or you can take them as a natural thyroid, often called an armor thyroid. I don't prescribe the natural thyroid glands. Why? Because they come from pigs and cows. They just, they take extracts of, of glands of cows and pigs and they put them together in concentrations and sell them to you as a natural thyroid. Well, these are from cows and pigs. They, they contain microbes from cows and pigs, like prions that cause mad cow disease and viruses that cause leukemia and uh, autoimmune diseases. Uh, yeah, you don't, you don't wanna eat these foreign thyroid glands. I think one of the biggest challenges for somebody who's taken these natural thyroid glands is to smell them. Stick your nose in the bottle you quickly be convinced of where they come from. All right, so you're gonna take thyroid supplementation one way or another, either Synthroid or natural to correct the thyroid balance. So let's get back to the cause. Uh, how is it that we eat foreign thyroid glands? Well, if you've ever been to a slaughterhouse, you know, they waste nothing. And after they take the fur and skin off, drain the animal's body of blood, and then they strip the muscles off and then what's left over, they turn into what? I mean, the spleens, the thyroid glands, the liver, the bone marrow, the testicles, the vaginas, the lips, the tongues, the ears. What do they turn these into? Sausages, hot dogs. That's how you get exposed to foreign thyroid glands and foreign other animal tissues. So the important thing would be to avoid damaging thyroid gland by eating a healthy diet free of foreign thyroid glands. And then secondarily, you wanna take advantage of this safe, highly effective treatment of supplementation with thyroid hormone, but you'll never cure it with a dietary change. Once the thyroid gland is gone, it's gone forever, but you'll live a normal, healthy, functional life with minimal cost, virtually no side effects if you end up uh, taking the right dose. And you determine the right dose by doing what we call thyroid stimulating hormone assays, TSH, to, T, TSH <clears throat> uh, tests, they're called TSH. And those will determine whether you're taking too little or too much thyroid. You don't want to take too much. It damages the bones, causes heart irregularities. You don't want to take too little. 
because you want to be at your best and you're not going to be at your best if you run profound hypothyroidism. I don't think for many people it causes you to gain excess weight or for you to be fatigued unless you get to extreme levels of hypothyroidism and then treatment will make all the difference in the world for you. But, you know, taking thyroid supplements because you need to lose some extra weight or you need to have a little bit more energy, you're likely to be disappointed. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you very much for listening. Mm -hmm.